Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you on how to troubleshoot your screen if it's flickering. In my case, it was from a Windows 7 machine um, upgraded to Windows 10, which is a straight upgrade, um, not a clean install. And ever since then, uh, as soon as the client logs in, they just get this weird flickering on their screen. Right away, you're thinking yeah, it's a driver issue uh, with the video card, and I have done everything updated the drivers. Uh, did a fresh install of the drivers, uh, installed an old version of the uh, video drivers. I mean, I've done everything. I've even gone, done a lot of research online. Can't really find anything that fixed this issue. Um, I even went to Microsoft's actual support website, and they have a set of things that you can try to uh, correct this issue. And the number one thing was this something I already tried, which was the display driver is either corrupted or an old version. And I've done all that, and I still cannot get it fixed. Um, so I'm going to show you how I was able to correct this. So I have a machine here with win that Windows 10. As soon as I log in here, um, I just created a test account because I even went as far as creating a different profile to see if that was maybe causing the issue. And you can see I'm in the computer, and it's doing this flickering. And you're like, what the heck is going on here? Um, so to correct this, you actually do control delete, go to uh, task manager, and then we're going to run a new task here when this loads up. You got to be kind of quick because when you run a new task and you start typing, um, it'll like see how it just highlighted that and then goes away. So you got to type really fast services.msc. Once you get that in there, hit OK. But you can clearly see this computer is having a huge issue. Um, and I and I found out how to fix this by going into the processes, and I noticed Windows. You just saw it there. Windows problem reporting kept sh keep showing up. Like it's there's an issue with Explorer, and it keeps crashing, and then it's trying to send that diagnostic information to Microsoft. Um, and I think that's what's causing the problem. So I actually went to the services for that um, application, and let's see where it's at here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you're going to find the Windows Error Reporting Service. Go ahead and do me a favor and go to your properties, switch this to Disable, hit Apply, and try to stop it. Sometimes it won't let you stop it. Um, oh, wow. Okay, in this instance, it let me stop it. But in, in, in not every case, it's going to let you do that. But once you hit Disable, reboot your machine, and that should correct the issue. Um, so go ahead and hit OK, and you can notice as soon as I disable that service, now I'm not crashing anymore. So it's that's a very weird issue glitch I would call it in Windows 10 when you're doing a straight upgrade. I'm not sure if it's can happen at any other time, but now you can see my computer's running fine. Um, I can open up, you know, File Explorer, no problem. Um, yeah, so this is definitely a bug in Windows 10. I think when you do it from an upgrade. But there you have it, you guys. Just go into the services, disable that, and then you should be on your way. Hope this helps.